All right, guys, part two of the Mandela Effect and Biblical Linkings Together. Um, last video, we talked about 2 Thessalonians. This one, as other verse I felt, was very important, uh, having to do with Mandela Effect and times we're in. Daniel 7.25 says, And he shall speak great words against the Most High, and shall wear out the saints of the Most High, which is us, the church, and think to change times and laws, and they shall be given into his hand until a time and times and the dividing of time. Now, this is interesting. So, that section there where it says given into his hand, time and times and dividing of time. Um, in, in biblical time, a time is one year. Times is two years. Division of time is half. So, this... Uh, when I looked it up, this year means three and a half years. So essentially it says he will change times and laws, which look at the Mandela effect, right? It looks very much like people are going back into our past, changing history, trying to rewrite history, do whatever the hell they're trying to do because they think they're so cool. And they're saying, and they shall be given into his hand basically for three and a half years. So a lot of people think this is during the times of tribulation. Is this the last half of tribulation? Is this the first half of tribulation? Seven whole years. What's going on here? Uh, I thought that was very interesting. And the last one is Amos 8, 11 through 13, actually. Behold, the days come, saith the Lord God, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord. And they shall wander from sea to sea, from north even to the east. They shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord, and shall not find it. In that day shall the fair virgins and young men faint for thirst. So this is really compelling. Basically, God is saying that we are going to struggle to hear his word. And probably literally, because we all know by now that there are a lot of changes in the Bible. Lots of biblical changes. It, it's so many you can't even keep up now. But that is not to say that we shouldn't still really study his word and get deep in it. Try to catch up on the changes. There are even other verses that talk about how we must not forget. We need to keep the word written on our hearts. We know what is from him and what is of him. So I really believe this verse is saying... We are going to have a famine, the word of the Lord. It's getting harder and harder uh, to even find a church, to find people that really read the Bible and scripture and really love Christ. It's getting harder and harder. So God bless you guys. Talk to you soon.